The history of the country is a stable foundation for its future. But don't forget the past. It is the teacher of the future. Opening the pages of history, we find inspiration for creating monuments in poetry and prose, in songs and pictures, bringing back to life the old events and the heroes of our motherland. Listen, listen, oh our offspring, the songs of the steppes and the silver dombra voice. Listen to the words of wise men and poets. All roads are open for you. You can see our history in stone and bronze. The past years are not forgotten. Listen, oh listen, to our legends, to Jambul's songs and Arbaya's poems. Touch our history with your soul. Feel with the gold of your heart. Listen to the legends of the steppes, wise men. Your great grandfathers, your grandfathers and fathers, with a prayer in the heart about a good life and peace. A pilgrim travels to the east to take a drink of life-giving water. Let us open the page of history of the hero of the Kazakh people, Mamai Batir. Many centuries, Jungars fought against the Kazakh people. They attacked peaceful villages, stole cattle, and captured the local people. In 1722, the Chinese Emperor Kanxi died, and the Jungars signed a peace treaty with China. In the early spring of 1723, Khan Sven Rabdan moved away many of his soldiers from the eastern border to the western border. It was the beginning of the invasion of Kazakh land by the Jungurs, known as a national calamity, Aktaban Shuburundi. In one such raid of the Jungurs, the people of Tubokti beat these terrible enemies. Kokonai Batir was wounded in the battle. Bleeding heavily, he left the field of battle and gave the flag to the 14-year-old Mamai and asked him to give it to the Bolkumbai Batir or Anat Baba. Mamai gave the flag to the famous Anat Baba and he blessed Mamai for the brightness in his life. The flag of the clan that Mamai gave to Toktamis Batir is still kept by its descendants as a holy relic, a symbol of freedom, courage and nobility. The first drop of your blood falls on the motherland and you become its son and defender, say the people's wisdom. The young man swore to devote his life to the struggle for the freedom of his motherland. At that time, messengers brought very bad news. From all the sides, aggressive neighbors, Turkmen, Bashkirs, Volga Kalmyks, Jungars, all threatened the freedom of the Kazakhs. In one of the raids of the Volga Kalmyks, Torga Uts, on his Aul, the 15-year-old Mamai was caught by the enemy and taken into captivity. Knowing that Mamai's ancestors were famous Sari Batir, a fellow fighter of Great Isim Khan, one of those who went to Jangaria to fight against the Oirats and his wife, the beautiful Konya Beke, the daughter of Tursan Khan from Tashkent, one of the most powerful Kazakh Khans of the 17th century, the Kalmyks hoped to get a huge ransom from Mamai. Mamai. For more than a year, Mamai was in captivity. Mamai played well on the Subuzki or pipe, and in the evenings, the Kalmyks listened to him. While Mamai was in captivity, he fell in love with a young Kalmyk girl. They ran away together from captivity. Of course, they were chased. At first, the young man fought with Jora Bakatur and killed him. Then he fought with two other pursuers, whom he also killed. He took the horses of the defeated enemies and went to the east in the direction of his Aul. And the Aul people were delighted to see him. 
they organized a huge feast. This happened in 1726, when Mamai was only 17. In the same year in South Kazakhstan, in the area of Orda Basi, the step-wise man, Toli B, Kazibek B, Aiteki B, and famous batuas called the people to unite to struggle against the invaders. Our film company is covering hundreds of kilometers across the steppes, located between the two rivers, Bolanti and Biletin, and now in the Karagandar region. We want to feel the wind of history from those days. Here on this land, the Kazakh people felt the strength of unity in the struggle for freedom. Here on this land, the Chungars had their first big defeat. It seems that even the stones were soaked with the blood of enemies and also our soldiers. The year of 1727, the Kazakh troops from all three Jusis or tribes, headed by Abul Khayyir Khan, went against the Jungars. Young Mamai also took part in this battle. According to the old tradition, the battle started from the one-to-one -one fights between Batus, Zhek Be Zhek. From the Jungar troops, a horseman on the prancing horse, Jangir Bagotur came apart. Khan al bakhir was told that the 18-year-old Mamai wanted to fight on the side of the Kazakhs. The Khan allowed Mamai to take the challenge. Shangir Bagatur was a mighty warrior. He was the living embodiment of the might of the Jungars. When Shanigo Bagatir fell to the ground unexpectedly, his younger brother Zengi ran out from the ranks of the Jungars and wounded Mamai with a spear. He violated the rules of the fight. The wounded Mamai fought again and won. That battle was called the Bolantine Battle. Mamai got the title of Batir, and the great Khan Victor al bukhair awarded Mamai with a Damask sabre. In the May of 1730, the Kazakh army came up to the Shur Ili mountains and fought with the enemy at the foot of the Hantu and Sankar mountains to the southwest of Balkhash. It was a great victory. Later that victory was called the Ankarai Battle. Our group, including Mamai's descendant, Norlan Bostayev, writer Kairat Bagalin and their operators, moved among the traces of these great events, the remains of the last Jungar's bulwark, a sentry post. Having surrounded the Jungar's camp from two sides, the Abul Khayr's troops pressed the enemy to the mountains, drove them into the gorges and defeated them there. The young Batia's sabre flashed like a lightning, sowing death and fear. After several heavy defeats, the Jungars lost courage. Let us open the other page of the history of our hero. In the 1730s, Mamai Batia proposed to unite the Kazakh and Bashkir peoples under the power of Abul Khaya Khan. Mamai Batia went as an ambassador to the Bashkir's governor. The negotiations were successful, and according to the tradition, he was given the beautiful Nazim the Khan's relative, as a wife. On the way back to his Aul, Mamai saw smoke rising from a fire. He came up closer and saw a wounded Kalmyk soldier and a horse standing near. Mamai did not kill the wounded enemy. He helped to bandage his wounds, put him into the saddle and allowed him to ride away. When his comrades came up, he said, it's not an honor to kill a weak man. The real valor is to defeat an enemy on a one-to-one -one fight before the battle. The nomads respected the great deeds more than wealth. The steppes' morals raised spiritual values over material ones. 
Among the famous heroes, everyone in the steppe knew Mamai's name. He became a hero of legends and songs. Koshima Batia from the Balta Kiri clan, or younger Jews, appointed Mamai Batia to be his successor and gave him the position of Orda Basi, or Governor of the Horde. In 1757, Mamai got the title of Sardar, or Commander. At the end of the 1750s, Jungaria, which was weakened by wars, fell to pieces under the attacks of the troops of the Tsing Empire of China. In 1758, Batiyas Mamai and Tokhtamis took part in the liberation of eastern Kazakhstan from the Jungars, and only in 1759 returned from the campaign to eastern Turkestan. In 1780, Mamai brought his clan from the west to the east of the lands of the present-day Abai district of East Kazakhstan region. The lands where Mamai's relatives lived. In one of the days of May of 1709, in the year of the pig, Everybody in the Aur of the clan Tobakti on the Sirdaraya bank heard the news. A son was born in the clan of the warrior Jumagu. At that time children grew up early. They learned to ride horses early and they learned how to use arms early. At that time every boy also wanted to be a hero. Mamai Batia followed the glorious way of the warrior, struggling for the freedom of his land. There is the tradition of Mamai Batia's descendants and all the people who respect the history of their people to come to that place, to the Orders village. table of hospitable hosts, everybody speaks about the most important things. Here you may hear many new stories and also old legends, and certainly drink the famous Kazakh camel milk. 
Only men go to the mountains. It is a long and difficult way. They want to touch the history of that difficult time, to recall the glorious names of their ancestors. It was difficult for them to defend the peaceful life of their people, to be always ready to fight, to repulse any attack. It seems that soon lights will be lighted in the sentry posts and the earth will shake under our feet. And again we will hear the horses snort and Mamai's loud voice, the clank of swords, shields, sabers and the weak moans of the wounded. Those years will not be forgotten. They send us their bright light. The Batir's image will always live in people's hearts and memory. Today our peaceful cattle pasture on the fields of the old battles. Today the ground sleeps and only the feather grass whispers something. Ай-ай салат, сугузде, жана, ирк билежит хан каза. Кай женгейн мин кадеп. Мамай Батия lived for 97 years. His wife, Кужан, from the clan Тама, gave him seven sons. Мамай called his youngest son Жолбарис, or Тайга. That year, when his son was born, Мамай had shot a tiger that attacked the cattle in his aeol. For almost half a century, Mamai struggled for the freedom of his motherland. He took part in 102 battles, big and small. The youth admired him. He was always calm and sober-minded. In his 80s, he could easily ride a horse, and in his 90s, he could still wrestle. When Mamai was asked about his dreams, he said, I had three dreams that were not realized. First, I dreamt about the quiet youth and I did not have one. Secondly, I dreamt about peaceful horses but spent all my life in the saddle of fast war horses. And thirdly, I dreamt of getting a beautiful Bashkir girl Nazim as a wife. But sadly, she was killed in that bloody time. It is not the sword of war, the clank of sabers, that the sons of famous victories preserve for the younger generations. It is the voice of the Dombra that calls for happiness on the land that has suffered so much. It calls for the bright sun shining over the land that has forgotten its sorrows. Mamai ordered his sons to bury his body on the holy land in Turkestan and so to leave his heart on his native land. Our last trip is to Turkestan. The high water of the Sir Darya meets us with all its majestic calmness. How many great names and events it remembers. How many legends and stories can be heard here. It seems that they, like flowers, grow through hundreds of years and call on all people to live in peace and pray for the happiness of the Kazakh land. The Holy of Holies in the world of the Turkic peoples who have taken Islam 
is the tomb of Ahmed Yazavi. Here, your soul can touch the sacred, your heart opens, and your soul chooses the way of real belief. When Mamai's body was buried in the Hodja Ahmed Yazavi mausoleum in Turkestan, near his brother in arms, the great Abla Khan, and the famous Kazibek B, the eldest of Mamai's son had a dream, an old bowl with seven wheat grains. He asked the Iman about the meaning of the dream, and the Iman said, seven generations from seven sons of your father will live in prosperity and happiness. The Kazakh people will live in peace with their neighbors, and herds of horses will peacefully pasture in the vast steppes of their native land. The Batea heroes of the Kazakh land will be remembered forever. Ай батыр бастаған, тоқтамысы қостаған. 